Hi, this is Ryan with Front End Audio, and thank you for checking out our featured software series. All right, so today we're going to take a quick overview look at the song page of Persona Studio One. This is where you would do your multi-track recording, editing, mixing, and mastering. Um, everything is accessible through multiple uh, avenues, so you have uh, various, multiple various ways to actually be able to accomplish the same thing. The cool thing about uh, Studio One is it's very easy to use, so whether you're a musician just trying to get your ideas down or whether you're an engineer trying to you know, professionally produce something, this gives you not only the power to do it, but it gives you uh, just a simple ease of use. So if you're just getting down an idea and you don't need the doll to stand in your way, it does that for you. Everything can be accessed through right-clicking. It's literally that simple. Now you do have your standard uh, drop-down menus in your taskbar where you can set up um, you know, your open new files, new songs, close the one that you're currently working on, save it, um, access uh, recent files if you need to import something, uh, all your editing capabilities, undo, redo, copy, paste, and so forth, uh, different um, song parameters, whether you need to import a file, uh, mix down, uh, export stems, um, you know, update a mastering file. That's a very cool feature if you're uh, in your project and you realize that one of the stereo files that you have for your CD um, was not, uh, you know, there was something that you forgot to do. You can always go back to the multi-track session, make your adjustments, then update the mastering file, and then when you get back to your project, you're good to go. It auto-updates for you. And then you have your song set up where you can set up you know, your sample rate, bit rate, um, you know, displays, metadata. So if you uh, want to have album artwork and, you know, songwriter information and copyright information to go with it, you're good to go. You can also set up your I.O. and you can access your I.O. everywhere. So it makes it very simple to change things on the fly. Uh, you do have track events. All of these things are also accessible by right click. So for instance, if we come here to our track window and we right click, we can add a mono track, add a stereo track, or add multiple tracks. And say we're just doing drums real quick, so we can call it drums. And we need eight tracks for drums. They're gonna be mono. Don't need to worry about a preset. There you go, we have drums one through eight ready to go and then we can come in here and we can set up the input that we need and you know we have the ability to convert the track from mono to stereo right now it's in stereo or convert it to mono um, that's for your live monitoring this will be to arm your track and as you see the live monitoring comes on so you you know, you're good to go. If you have live monitoring on your uh, interface, it might cause a little bit of a phasing issue, you know, if this correlates to the uh, main outputs that your headphone uh, mix on your interface correlates to, then, you know, you can cut that off so you're really monitoring what's coming off your interface instead of what's coming through the DAW and you get rid of that, uh, that coursing due to this, you know, slight latency of conversion and then reconversion. Uh, you can mute and solo which all of these are also accessible right down here at the bottom of the window, which pops up when you're in your mix window. And that just, you know, say you were working on your drum mix, you had a bunch of stuff soloed, you know, and, uh, you know, everything's good. You can just click that and desolo them all at once, of course. And then the same thing with the uh, mute. Say so you had all your drums muted, and you're working on the guitars, and everything's good to go now. You can simply just hit that, and it unmutes all your tracks. Everything is, of course, access uh, automatable, and you can come in here, and that will show you your automation. And you can actually come in here and add and remove various. Uh, parameters so if you have plugins all of that will come up here and you'll be able to automate that 
and then you can set up your automation with your reading and writing. The cool thing about this is that you can do it in real time or say if you're just doing mute groups, you can just click and pull. And then switch to read and you see it's muted, unmuted, muted. And that's a pretty cool feature. So, you know, a lot of it you can sit there and actually get really into. You can zoom in nice and far and be able to adjust however you need to. Now, you can see here I can right click on anything and bring up editing, hide track. I mean, everything's accessible through right click, and it's very simple. You know, um, another great feature, it's all drag and drop. So if we have our browse window open and we go to instruments and we pull up, let's say, the impact drum machine, click, drag, drop, there you go. Good to go. And uh, you can sit there and do that with anything. And you can remove the track if you needed and then you know say well you might wanted to uh, bring that presence uh, back so you can come here into your mix window and there it is under your instruments and you can just bring it back it's that simple so it allows you a very non-destructive way of being able to work how you need to work but then get back to where you want to if you really need to um, grouping, very simple. You can just select highlight and create a group. And now everything is going to, you know, as far as your uh, fading, muting, soloing, arming, everything like that is going to be all grouped together. So very easy to group and ungroup. Um, you have all your other task bars, whether you're going to be Obviously, your arrow tool is going to be the most uh, useful tool for selecting. Let's say here we have uh, a track. You can select and move it anywhere you need to. Um, if you need to group multiple tracks together, you can use your group tool, your range tool, and that will set, you know, say you wanted to bounce, and that will set, uh, you know, your bounce um, parameters so that you have a clean start and a clean stop on everything. Uh, you have your erase tool to be able to erase. Um, you have slice tool if you need to do some editing. And then you know basically you have all your tools throughout here whether you're doing audio bend, scrubbing, um, you know beat detection as far as your transient detection, strip silence, audio quantize, your quantized preferences, your adaptivity as whether you're going to snap to grid, snap to event, so forth. Um, you can remove snap. You can see here where if I have it on snap, I have certain lockable parameters that it's going to stick to, or I can remove the snap and just tweak it a little bit. So overall, you know, you have just a ton of features in here uh, that allows you to have access to virtually everything and um, just very easy to use. You have a metronome here um, cutting it on and off. If you need to adjust it you can select your volume level for your standard click and your accent click. The one uh, you can you know do pre-count only, click at all times or double tempo and you can also load in various samples that come with Studio One and if you make your own sample and drop it into the metronome sound file, that will come up next time you start, and you'll be able to use your own samples for a metronome. Your tempo is set here, so you can do five eighths if you'd like, and we can do 143 BPM. Pretty easy to go. Your editing window is here, so if you didn't want to. Uh, you know, do something in here in the main track window. You can simply edit a little bit closer. I really only use the editing for you know MIDI, but uh, it 
you know, like I said, it's it really comes down to how you want to work, and it's a very very uh, powerful program. We'll dive more into it in some later videos. Uh, this is just a quick overview to kind of get you seeing how you know you can do multiple things. Whether you want to add a new mono track from the drop down, add one from you know, or if you wanted to add one from uh, right click here, uh, if you needed to you know pull up a, a past. A plugin that you re or a virtual instrument that you recently got rid of, or if you had gotten rid of it, you can always go into your trash folder and remove things completely. So, a lot of uh, different different ways to attack the same thing, and just a very cool program. Again, thank you for joining us for our featured software series videos. For more information and for all your pro audio needs, check us out on the web at www.frontendaudio.com. Thank you.